Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and today we're gonna be featuring Echeveria Silver Queen. This is another beautiful Korean hybrid between two Echeverias. This succulent will be giving us these rosettes of narrow na leaves and the color is like lavender to pink leaves covered with a powdery coating. When it matures, it could reach up to 20 centimeters or 8 inches in diameter. Kaya if you're looking for a succulent, an Echeveria na big sizes, then this is a perfect succulent for you. When it blooms, you would be expecting it to produce bell-shaped pinkish red flowers. This succulent is also very similar sa ating Violet Queen. Obviously, the difference would be their color na medyo may pagka-violet nga yung ating Violet Queen. Well, this one, Ayan, as you would see naman, medyo parang silver gray talaga yung kanyang color. And at the same time, napagkakamalan din ito na mensa. Almost similar yung shape ng kanilang leaves except for the color. Yung ating mga mensa kasi is medyo reddish. So here now is a side-by-side -side comparison between the two different Echeverias. Itong ating mga silver queen also needs a strong light in order for them nga to maintain yung kanilang compact Reset, and at the same time, they will be giving you this beautiful na color once they are constantly exposed to the sun. And ito na nga yung kanilang pinaka sun stress na color. And because of its very simple na color, bagay itong ilagay sa mga succulent arrangement in contrast with those colorful plants. Yung kanilang watering needs is very typical as with other succulents and I kept on using yung ating soak and dry method. Usually, I water these every two weeks kasi dito sa aking area, that duration is enough na mag-dry out completely nga yung kanilang pinaka soil. But right now, since we are currently renovating yung kanilang permanent na greenhouse, nilagay ko siya sa isang open area. And for the past 7 days, continuously nga yung pag-uulan dito sa Baguio. As a result, naging okay naman yung kinalabasan kasi yung ating mga succulents, they love and enjoy yung ating rainwater. But too much of water is a different story kasi kanina, well, I'm trying to get this from our roof area, I noticed na some of its leaves are already overwatered and that is something that we need to check. Like for example, ito, nakikita nyo yan, parang nag-yellowish na siya and I can simply remove it. Ayan na siya. Look at this. Mabilis matanggal yung dahon ng inyong mga succulents if overwatered sila. You won't be expecting na magiging mushy agad itong pinaka-crown niya or yung gitna ng rosette niya. But, yung mushy leaves would first appear dito sa pinakababa. And I'm gonna be showing to you some of those mushy leaves na nakuha natin earlier. This one is pa start pa lang siya but you will already see here na medyo translucent na siya. And, you know, mamasa-masa siya. And if you will try to do this one, press it. Ayan o, tiba. Talagang lumalabas yung tubig sa kanyang leaves kasi nga it's overwatered. Ibig sabihin, yung ating leaves can no longer store yung ating excessive water because of the continuous rain. And as a result, naging ganyan na nga siya. Naging mushy. And worse, this one talagang sobrang nabulok na siya. It will eventually turn into this color. Ayan, and we can no longer save this one. Even if I will be pressing it, ayan, diba? Nakikita nyo yung tubig na lumalabas sa kanya. This is not just applicable para sa ating Silver Queen, but to most of our succulents. If you notice na ganito na yung kanilang color, or like this, then it means you are overwatering your succulent. So here's a comparison. Ito yung ating healthy leaf. This one is medyo translucent na siya. Nagsimula na siya maging overwatered. And this one is nabulok na talaga siya. Ayan. I won't be putting them back doon sa ating open area. But rather, I will be putting them in a bright and shaded area para pag umulan man, hindi ulit masaturate yung kanilang soil. Our soil mix now plays a very important role for the optimum health nitong ating mga silver queen. It's not enough na well draining lang sila, but they should also be filled with nutrients. What I'm using here is yung ating typical na loam soil and yung kanyang organic fertilizer is yung ating vermicast or worm castings kasi there are also some loam soil na available sa mga garden shops pero ang ginagamit naman nilang fertilizer is yung ating cow manure. 
regardless of whatever soil mix that you're gonna be using for your succulents, dapat talaga well draining sila. So, repotting them is not necessary. We can only do it if na outgrow niya na nga yung kanyang pinaka container. Nito lang yung kanyang size, but after a couple of weeks nung nirepot ko siya, bigla siyang lumaki and it's almost covering yung kanyang entire na pot. Itong ating silver queen na ito, it has some issues before sa kanyang pinaka leaves. Hindi masyadong maganda yung growth niya before. There are a lot of mga bite marks and some other issues sa kanya. Tinanggal ko na yung iba sa kanyang mga leaves and I just decided to keep itong mga ito kasi it won't really harm naman itong ating succulents and since they are already at the bottom part eventually this will dry in time. Yung kanyang propagation could be done through sa kanyang leaves and ito na nga are just some examples of its propagated leaves. 100% ang success rate ng propagation si itong ating silver queen as long as maganda yung pagkakatanggal natin sa kanya from its stem. So I have here one, two, three leaf propagations. A total of seven propagations sa kanya. Yung isa is roots pa lang siya but there are no offsets. The remaining six, ayan, kitang-kita nyo naman yung kanilang pinaka-grow. You would see naman na hindi masyadong maganda yung shape ng kanilang leaves but even if na ganito yung condition ng kanilang leaves, they were now able to give us these beautiful looking offsets. Kaya remember next time na magtatanggal kayo ng mga bottom leaves na medyo ganito or they are not really presentable or good to look at then you might as well consider of keeping them instead of throwing them right away kasi you'll just never know if they can give you this offset. So sayang din naman, tiba. Yung mga ganitong sizes, they are now ready to be planted sa kanilang nursery pots. It's also possible that you can have stem cutting sa kanya or we will be beheading this. Lastly, they can also be propagated through their offsets. Like for example here, this is a two-headed silver queen and we can simply separate it if we want to. And in a clump, ayan, ganyan ang kanila magiging itsura if dikit-dikit nga sila. And for some maintenance sa kanya, removing some dead leaves, check for millibugs or other pests. It's also part of my maintenance to apply some broad spectrum fungicide sa kanya to prevent nga yung ating mga fungal infections especially na tag-ulan na these days and I really have to keep them healthy. That's all for our Silver Queen. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.